Merry Christmas everyone, Sober Oni of G&A Reviews here with a Servant Spotlight for the Servant that puts the S in Santa, Saber Alter Santa Rider. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers on how to utilize her effectively and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other 4 star servants. I also have spotlights for the other new Christmas servants, Nursery Rhyme and Jack the Ripper, as well as a guide for the entire Christmas event all linked in the description below, so please do check those out right after this video if you have some time. And now let's move on to Santa Alter's stats. Santa Alter's max HP of 11,286 is above average among her fellow 4-star riders, but slightly below average among all 4-stars in general. Her 9,258 attack though is slightly above average for a 4-star rider and also among all 4-stars in general. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Saint's Present Rank EX, which greatly restores an ally's HP between 1500 to 3500 depending on level, and also increases their crit star drop rate by 30% for 3 turns. Her second skill is Intuition Rank A, which grants her between 5 to 15 crit stars. And her final skill is Mana Burst Rank A-, which increases her buster card effectiveness for 1 turn between 25 to 45% depending on level. Moving on to her passives, she has Magic Resistance Rank A, which increases debuff resist by 20%, and Riding Rank A, which increases quick card effectiveness by 10%. As for her deck and Noble Phantasm, Santa Alter has a balanced deck with Quick Arts Arts Buster Buster and a Buster Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Excalibur Morgan, it is the same Noble Phantasm as her Saber version, and it deals heavy damage to all enemies between 450-650% to 650%, depending on level and it increases her Noble Phantasm gauge between 10-30% to 30 depending on overcharge. Taking a closer look at her cards, we see that her Quick card hits twice, her Arts card hits twice, her Buster card hits once, and her Extra Attack hits three times. She has a Noble Phantasm gain rate of 0.87% and a star rate of 8.9%. She is bad at generating stars just due to having one Quick card and low hits, and slightly below average on Noble Phantasm gain, again due to low hits, and it is worth noting that her star gen and noble phantasm gain are pretty identical to her saber version. For everyone who wasn't able to roll saber alter, including myself, congrats we're getting one for free. And that isn't much of an exaggeration, Santa alter is actually very similar to her saber counterpart. Both have the same deck, pretty much the same star generation and noble phantasm gain, and even the same exact noble phantasm. The real difference between them comes in their skills and stats. Santa Rider does retain two of Saber Alter's skills, Mana Burst and Intuition, though they're at different ranks. Intuition actually has more of a use on Santa Alter than Saber Alter because Santa has a much larger star absorption rate. So while this skill is usually bad on Sabers, it is at least usable on Santa Alter. Mana Burst is the much more important skill though, and just as I said with Saber Alter Spotlight, Mana Burst on a Noble Phantasm as strong as Excalibur Morgan will lead to some serious damage output even from an AoE. Although unfortunately Santa Alter's Mana Burst is slightly weaker than everyone else's, with her buff maxing at 45% instead of 50%. And while she doesn't have Charisma, Saint's Present can arguably be an even better skill than original Saber Alter's weak version of Charisma. A big heal with a buff to crit star drop rate is a skill that can benefit a rider like Santa Alter since she can absorb those extra crit stars very easily, but I still recommend maxing Mana Burst first, even if it is a weaker version, it's still Mana Burst. Then go for Saint's Present because the heal and the crit star drop buff are just too good to pass up. And finally level Intuition because while it's nice to have it as a backup, it's never going to be your main source of crit stars. Nor is it as important as buffing your Noble Phantasm. And while on that subject, you will notice that even though Santa Alter's Noble Phantasm charge rate isn't great, she crits a lot due to her rider status, and because of that, you'll usually end up filling your Noble Phantasm a lot easier, provided you can get a few crits in. Your Noble Phantasm still isn't anywhere near spammable, but it is a lot easier to charge than regular Saber Alters, despite having the same Noble Phantasm charge rate. And Excalibur Morgan on Santa Alter is just as dangerous as it is on Saber Alter. It is, after all, just the same exact Noble Phantasm. But a case can be made that it is even better on Santa Alter since you can easily Noble Phantasm 5 her. 
So don't be surprised to see your Santa Altar even out damaging Drake with her Noble Phantasm. It's just that powerful. But while Santa Altar is strong, she isn't Saber Altar strong. Saber Altar is still a Saber and she has a thousand more attack. So unless your Santa Altar is receiving a ton of crit stars, Saber Altar will be doing a lot more damage in the long run. And that strong reliance on crit stars is actually one of Saber Altar's biggest weaknesses since she can't really produce many on her own and she needs to crit constantly to both charge her Noble Phantasm at a respectable speed and do good damage. And although Santa Altar does have two skills to help address her need for crit stars, no crit damage buff or star absorption skill makes her far less efficient and reliable than most crit servants. Even with the high star weight of a rider class servant, star absorption would come in handy since archers and other riders will compete with you and steal some of your crit stars. And without crit stars, Santa Altar is pretty much just Saber Altar with a thousand less attack and no charisma. And that's why team comp is important for Santa Altar because she lacks a charisma and any means of buffing her crit damage or generating stars. Waver and Hans are fantastic supports for her as always since they can provide her with all the attack buffs and crit buffs that she could ever need. Caesar, Lancer Liz, Arturia, Shakespeare, and David are other good support options to bolster her offense. Good crit generators include Jack, Atlanta, Hassan, Drake, and Gil with Jack being the best option not only because of her high crit star drop rate, but also because Santa Alter can heal her while further increasing her drop rate. And Jack will not compete for stars as hard as someone like an archer or rider will. Santa Alter's Bondcraft Essence is Lamray Mark II, which increases crit star drop rate of all allies by 20%. This is a nice craft essence to have, but I wouldn't suggest using it on her over anything that will just flat out increase your damage or allow you to farm more efficiently. Saints present and a good crit star generator are more than enough. You don't need this craft essence to guarantee crit stars. Instead, go with limited zero for damage and Halloween princess or kaleidoscope for farming. You can also use gem magecraft, victor from the moon or gudao if you're going for a crit team. My overall opinion of Santa Altar is that she continues the streak of good welfare servants much like her Saber counterpart, she just packs a lot of raw power. And is not only a strong farmer, but even a good boss killer just due to how strong her Noble Phantasm is and the fact that it's at Noble Phantasm 5 if you complete the event. However, she is a little over dependent on crits to balance out her non-Noble Phantasm damage and charge her Noble Phantasm gauge. And the star absorption or crit damage buff skill would have gone a long way toward making her a lot more consistent and useful outside of her Noble Phantasm. Because as I mentioned, without that steady stream of crit stars, she's just a Saber Altar with a thousand less attack and no charisma. And that's why my overall rating for her is a B. There's a lot of power in the Rider class and Santa Altar easily has one of the best Noble Phantasms in the game right now. She'll make a great go-to rider for anyone who needs a farming or boss killing rider and doesn't have Anne and Mary or Drake or both. But she really needs something a little bit more than her Noble Phantasm to stick out since she really can't rely on the off the chart stats that her Saber counterpart has. And those are my thoughts on Santa Altar. She'll make a great Christmas gift for those of you without gold riders and a good extra option for those of you with gold riders. Let me know if you're satisfied with your Christmas present and if you're planning on using her. Also, please check out the Nursery Rhyme and Jack the Ripper spotlights also up on the channel, as well as the Christmas event guide. All of them are linked in the description below. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. And if you haven't joined our party over at Discord, please make sure to follow us there and on Twitter. With that, I'll see you all in the next spotlight. Sober on you out, later, and have a very merry Anaplex Christmas.